Well, school is almost out. The temperature is rising, but all your wired warrior wants to do is sit in front of a screen. If that sounds familiar, we want to let you know that this year, Dr. Peppel, Pepper and Snapple is looking to motivate kids to get outside. Here's Tara Wellington with more. School's out, the temperature is rising, and all your kid wants to do is sit inside. I'm Tara Wellington, and I've partnered with Dr. Pepper Snapple Group and their Let's Play initiative to help you get your wired warriors off the couch. Let's Play is committed to making daily play a priority for kids. Through June 5th, they're offering high schools across the country a chance to win a $100,000 grant to revamp their athletic department in partnership with Good Sports. To win, tell us what your school needs by submitting a video at letsplay.com. The theme is because of sports. Have a great summer, and don't forget to play. Welcome back, everybody. A new survey has revealed that one in three Americans have experienced a symptom consistent with stroke, but they didn't do anything about it. That decision could cost you your life. With us live via satellite is Dr. Mitchell Elkin. He's a neurologist and expert in this field and chair of the American Stroke Association Advisory Committee. Good morning, Dr. Elkin. Is it actually possible that 77% of Americans don't know the symptoms of stroke? That's what we found in our survey. That's absolutely right. Maybe you can tell us what the most common symptoms are not to ignore. Sure. So there's a very easy way to remember what the symptoms are of stroke, and that is an acronym that we call FAST. So the F in FAST stands for face drooping, the A is arm weakness, and the S is speech difficulty. If any of those th three things are present, then it's T, time to call 911 and get emergency help as quickly as possible. And when we think of um, kind of a stroke as a heart attack to the brain, at least with a heart attack you would get pain, but there's not necessarily any pain associated with this. So a lot of people say, well, maybe I'll just rest, I'll lie down, these symptoms may go away. And that, again, another big mistake. That's exactly right. That's, that's what we found in our survey, that most people did not seek medical attention. Only 3% of people did. And of course, getting to the hospital right away is the best way to, to treat the problem. Um, you ask about pain. That's a good question. There actually are some people who do get a headache as part of a stroke. We often talk about the worst headache of one's life. So we all get headaches now and then, but somebody who gets a headache that's very different from prior headaches, very sudden and severe, that could actually be a warning sign of a major stroke as well. Yes, yeah, even different from a migraine headache. Doctor, maybe you can tell us about the risk factors. Sure. So the good news is that stroke is largely preventable, and um, we know that high blood pressure is the most important risk factor for stroke. And so uh, people should look into their blood pressure, get it checked, talk with their doctors about it. Uh, exercise, eating right, low salt intake, those things can all lead to a, uh, a lower and safer blood pressure. Uh, for people who've already had a stroke, certain medicines like aspirin can prevent another one, but of course you have to talk to your doctor if, about if that's right for you. And of course heredity will, will play a, a, a part in this as well. It does play some role. Heredity is a tricky thing, right? Because uh, there's hereditary aspects of living with our family members. So we share an environment, eat the same food, tend to you know, engage in the same activities. Um, and, and then there's also the genetic side, the biology of it. And um, there are some stroke syndromes that are caused by genetic mutations and things like that. Those tend to be really pretty rare. Most of the things are going to be more uh, environmentally related. All right, Dr. Uh, Mitchell thank, uh, Elkin, thank you so much for this life-saving information. And for more information, we uh, just ask everyone, please call your doctor or learn more at the American Stroke Association.